about an hour, the Fayette County community will remember two students who died of a possible drug overdose outside of the high school. And meanwhile, another student who was hospitalized has been charged in their deaths. Thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. I'm Alex Coleman. WREG's Jordan James is in Fayette County, where the charged teen was in juvenile court earlier today. Jordan. Hey Alex, we were the only news crew inside of the courtroom for today's hearing and I can tell you it was an emotional day for everyone involved given that this ended in tragedy. Two faded where high school students are dead after a possible overdose and now another student has been charged following their deaths. Investigators with the Fayette County Sheriff's Office say that the student is facing two counts of second degree murder. On Thursday, the teenager appeared in juvenile court where cameras were not allowed. However, I was able to sit in on the proceedings. The judge described the incident as a horrible, sad, sad situation. During a hearing, a narcotics investigators with the Fayette County Sheriff's Office testified that fentanyl was found at the high school where the girls died. The drug was also found at a home after a search warrant. Following his testimony, the judge told the girl, you are lucky to be here today. This is something you will never forget. Based on information released in court, it's believed that the suspect was possibly friends with the two girls who died earlier this week. Ultimately, the judge decided to release the girl into the custody of her grandmother, telling her, quote, I still believe in you. Despite the vote of confidence, she will be placed on house arrest and undergo drug screenings and routine counseling. And I can't say that the next court hearing will be held on June 7th. Coming up on the news at 5, I'll let you hear from some folks who came out for today's balloon release. For now, reporting here live in Fayette County, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3.